let's take a look at the chords for uh, my arrangement of Daphne. So I start with a uh, regular old D major 7 root on the 5th string, 5th fret. And then I play a uh, B minor 7 root on the 6th string with, uh, in the 7th fret. And then for my E minor 7, I just play a little tiny E minor 7, the root, the flat 7, and the 3rd. And then for my A7, it's the exact same fingering, just moved over, but it plays different notes, the root, the flat 7, and the major 3rd, as opposed to the minor. So I get this kind of a sound, this 1, 6, 2, 5. That's it. That, that's what I play. Now, as far as, as the right hand, um, I kind of have this chink, chink, kadink, chink, kadink, chink, kadink kind of sound. As opposed to. Mine is more like. It's all personal preference, what you like. Also depends on the tempo of the tune also. But that's what I'm doing, sort of almost like a hi-hat. <laughs> so you do that, and then the next part is this walk down. D major 7, D over C, so D triad at the 7th fret with a C in the bass. So that's my D7. Then a G with a B in the bass. This is a... A G chord in first inversion with B, G, D, G on top. Then a G minor, which I do in first inversion, which looks just like a B flat six. I got the B flat, the G, the D, and the F. And then my A7. I invert my A7 up to an A9 in first inversion. Looks a lot like a C sharp diminished chord, but I think of it as an A9 with the C sharp in the bass. I have the C sharp, the G, which is the seventh, the B, which is the ninth, and the E, which is the fifth, and then back to the top. And then for the turnaround, instead of doing A7, I do the tritone sub E flat. And I don't even play a chord there, I just play the note. So it'll be. funny little twist of ending a half step higher, then the same thing again. Now we get the walk down. Now we go up a half step. The bridge is the same tune, just up in E flat. And now I do something a little different on the E flat. I play E flat 6-9. But everything else stays the same. My fingerings are the same. So it's an E flat 6 9. So I have the E flat. I have the G, which is the uh, third. I have the D, which is the sixth. No, I have the C, which is the sixth. And then I have the uh, F, which is the ninth. And then the C minor 7, F minor 7, B flat 7 just to do something a little different. And then we just sit here. And then to get back to our D, we go through A7, but I play an A7 sharp 11. So here's a little regular A7 root, flat 7 third, sharp 11, the E flat on top, or the D sharp, sharp 11. <laughs> and then back to the original. Time. And I stop there, and then there's the guitar part. There, 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 da, 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 then the last chord. It's a D nine uh, sharp eleven. And I don't play the D. I just play the third, the flat seven, the nine, and the sharp eleven. And that's it. Uh, some other things you might want to look at. 
uh, even though I didn't do them, you can always substitute the three chords. So instead of going like one, six, two, five, you can do three, six, two, five. So the three chord is a, a good substitute for the one chord. So uh, D, one, B, six, uh, E, two, A seven, and F sharp, the three chord. You could also try the more authentic uh, gypsy voicings, which uh, for the D, uh, they might do. Although they, I think they would probably do this. And then here for the uh, for the D, they would probably add the third. And then for the A7, they play it like that, where it'd be a second inversion with the E. On the bottom. So again, it's really up to you uh, to pick voicings that fit your hand and that you like and enjoy the sound of and you like the feel of playing them. So that's it. I hope this was helpful and uh, yeah, until next time. Ciao!